We started in 2000. We've been focused on the commercial application of peer-to-peer -peer since the year 2000. So seven plus years of engineering effort from a dedicated team. Uh, our software is designed for the commercial application. It does not allow for piracy. Uh, all all transactions are authenticated and secured using a closed public key infrastructure. Uh, and we have a very intelligent network management system where we can configure the network parameters from a central source and then push those parameters out to the network. And so we can configure things like how do peers connect up with other peers? So we can do tiered rules where you have what happens if you find some peers within your local area network? What happens if you find some peers within the AS number that you're in? If you can't find anybody within that range, what do you do? Do you continue to look for peers outside of the ISP and across the world? Or do you connect back up to either a grid caching server, which we have, or to an origin server? And so we've got this essentially tiered architecture. We've got central network management, uh, origin servers, grid caching servers, and clients all configurable and managed from a central source, and it's all secure. And so we have this great ability to tweak all of the parameters of the network to make it work very, very efficiently, where you know, many of the network protocols that are out there for peer-to-peer uh, -peer are essentially random in their peering protocol. And that's one of the real drivers behind the DCIA's P4P working group, is to help uh, you know, advance the technology of peer-to-peer. -peer. And we're really excited to be able to participate in that and share our knowledge and share our abilities uh, to really drive uh, more widespread adoption of intelligent peer-to-peer. -peer. The BBC's iPlayer, uh, Channel 4's uh, 4 On Demand service, and Sky's Anytime service are all uh, powered by Contiki's uh, delivery management system to enable movie and TV downloads. And what's even better, what's even more awesome is that the new upcoming basically Hulu of the UK, uh, which is called Prank Project uh, Kangaroo, is also going to use Contiki software. So it's the best thing. Probably, who's managing that service? Is that from the BBC or what is that? It's like, a, it's like Hulu. It's a, a consortium of uh, the major broadcasters in the UK getting together to create a single electronic programming guide and a single place where users can go to download TV uh, type content and movies. Uh, and the best thing, like I was going to say, is that you have existing customers that choose to use your stuff again. So these customers uh, have deployed our system, have been using it, they're happy with it, and they decided to use that software again in their joint consortium.